Welcome. Have a seat wherever you like. Uh, Master D. Luke? Oh, I was about to finish this drink and go looking for you. But you've done the hard part for me. It sure is lively in here. <laughs> it is the Windbloom Festival after all. No one in Mondstadt who has the time and Mora is going to miss out on a trip to the tavern. Traveler, will you have a drink? <laughs> no pressure. It's not a requirement. Soaking up the festival atmosphere is the most important thing. Master Jean wanted me to pass along this message. You've been chosen as this year's Windbloom Star. Quite the honor. Windbloom Star? The Windbloom Star is one of Mondstadt's greatest honors. Normally only bestowed upon those who have made enormous sacrifices for Mondstadt, or who have truly proven themselves over the Windbloom Festival period. Since arriving in Mondstadt, you have offered invaluable support to its people. This is their way of saying thank you. I know you will receive it gracefully. Oh yes, and another thing. The Windbloom Star must attend the Windbloom Ceremony together with the Acting Grand Master. During the ceremony, you will represent the people of Mondstadt in making a Windbloom offering to the Animo Archon Barbados. But which Windbloom are you talking about? <laughs> a good question. Diluc? Care to explain? Passing on messages and deliberating over ceremonial details. Sounds more like your line of work, Kaya. <sighs> no sense of humor. Traveler, the Windbloom is always chosen by the Windbloom Star. So the flower offered to the Animo Archon for this year's celebrations is entirely up to you. Whoa! No pressure, huh? Hey, where's the bartender? How come Master D. Luke's mixing the drinks? If it's Charles you're after, he's out on delivery. <laughs> and who is most directly responsible for creating the demand for an alcohol delivery service at this time of year in the first place? Hmm. I see. So, what do you make of Master D. Luke's mixing ability? Why don't we ask the formidables? He's not bad. Formidable? <gasps> Did you guys have a fight? I'd call it... a misunderstanding. I caught sight of a suspicious figure hurtling by the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Fortunately, I discovered in good time that it was Miss Rosaria, and stayed my hand. Aha! So the suspicious figure that day was Rosaria all along! Folks in Mondstadt are on edge with you constantly on the prowl. You're no ordinary sister, that's for sure. Allow me to return the compliment, good Master Diluc. You're hardly a run-of-the-mill businessman yourself. <laughs> My. Such a formidable wit, too. But really, is there any here among us today who can't be said to possess a talent or two? Even the celebrated honorary knight has graced us with their presence tonight. Truly. A good day for a drink. Well said. So, Kaya, uh, about that tuition fee? Please collect the goods from Diluc. Three bottles, as promised. They didn't come cheap. The better the wine, the higher the price. Just economics. How are you enjoying the Windbloom Festival, Traveler? That's good to hear. A toast, everyone to a happy Windbloom Festival and the free people of Mondstadt. Cheers. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> what a festival. Now, this won't drink itself. Oh, Toad Deaf Bard, spare us off for other people. Paimon's looking for good food, not just good drink. <laughs> I was going to say, isn't it about time the tavern menu had a few starters and mains? What's a drink without something on the side? <laughs> Easier said than done. I doubt Charles is nimble enough to handle both.
Taverns are so much more fun than cathedrals. Speaking of which, doesn't everyone get time off for festivals like this? Why doesn't the church give us time off? <laughs> <laughs>